Would you believe me if I said you can make money on virtual real estate? Stick around. Welcome to Framework Fortune. I'm your host, Ben, and this is episode two of Abnormal Investing. And in this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the decentralized world of Decentraland and how you could possibly make some money and invest into this world that is all virtual. Sounds crazy, I know. So we're going to dive deeper and check it out. First, we're going to pop over to Coinbase and look at the token that is the MANA token. So that is M-A-N-A. That is the cryptocurrency of Decentraland. And you can see on this daily chart, it has went from around eight cents up to almost 40 cents in this most recent crypto run. So you could simply just invest in the token, but there's a little bit more to Decentraland than just the token. So let's dive into the website and check it out. So here we are on the first page and you can see very nice website. Welcome to Decentraland, create, explore and trade. That's the big one right there in the first ever virtual world owned by its users. So if you are a token holder or user of the world, then you are part of the governance, which is very interesting. You see they have a Discord server as well. Let's scroll down and check out some other stuff so you can find out some more information. So you can see explore here, explore lands owned by users to experience incredible scenes and structures from a space adventure to a medieval dungeon maze to entire villages crafted from the minds of community members. Okay, so the lands, that's the virtual real estate that I'm talking about. And we'll get we'll get deeper into that. I know this looks like a video game. You're probably sitting there thinking like, what are you talking about? This is a video game. You can't invest in this type of weird video game. Ah. <laughs> we'll, we'll see about that. So if you're a creative person, you can create scenes, artworks, challenges, and more. They have a simple builder tool and then take part in events to win prizes. I would imagine the prizes are probably paid out in the Decentraland Mana token. I'm not 100% sure on that, but maybe we'll find the answer in a little bit. So here we are, trade. Buy and sell land estates, avatar wearables, and names in the Decentraland marketplace. Stocking the very best digital goods and paraphernalia backed by the Ethereum blockchain. So it's a token that's built off of the Ethereum blockchain. We see how Ethereum is moving. The Ether coin been getting quite a bit of attention and it looks like mana may be moving because of that as well. And you see they got different uh, upcoming events, things like that. All right, so here we are, Decentraland, DAO, of the virtual world in your hands. And you can see start voting and learn more. But let's see what this is all about. So DAO stands for Decentralized Autonomous Organization. The Decentraland DAO owns the most important smart contracts and assets that make up Decentraland. The land contract, the estates contract, wearables, content servers, and the marketplace. It also owns a substantial purse of mana, which allows it to be truly autonomous as well as subsidize various operations and initiatives throughout Decentraland. So why has it been created and how is it relevant? First fully decentralized virtual world. It was always a part of the original vision to hand over control to the people who create and play in this virtual space. In short, you the users through the DAO, you are in control of the policies created to determine how the world behaves. For example, what kinds of wearable items are allowed or disallowed after the launch of the DAO, moderation of content, land policy, and auctions, among others. As we're reading into this, you can see there's a lot of different aspects of this that's very interesting, especially if you are an abnormal investor. So... Let's see what else we got here. How does the DAO work? The community will propose and vote on policy updates, future land auctions, whitelisting of NFT contracts to be allowed inside the world, builder and marketplace, and whatever community deems relevant. 
And you see the voting takes place on Decentraland's governance interface powered by Aragon. Don't know much about Aragon, so maybe that's something in the future we'll look into. And then here's the things you get to determine. Upgrading land and estates to have more features and protocol upgrades, specifics and dates of future land auctions, size of marketplace fees, which are always in mana that gets burnt, primary sales fees, which are always in mana that gets burnt, addition and replacement of community-run content servers, allocation of mana grants to development efforts, addition of new wearables to the Decentraland World Builder Marketplace, and replacing members of the Security Council. So it's already been fully decentralized, and in the sense that the private key that controlled a smart contract has been thrown away. But we're not interested in the voting, we're interested in the investing, in the money. So let's go take a look into this actual world of Decentraland. So you can see we're loading into the world of Decentraland here now. And let's, let's explore this virtual world and see if we can find out about how much real estate is selling for in this world and wearables and the NFTs and all that. So it looks like I got to make a little person here. So I'm just going to go with that guy. Actually, let's randomize it. There we go. So I'm not a big PC gamer, so we're <laughs> this might get a little weird. I'm not used to playing any type of games with a keyboard. Let's see, we got Chef Nubs there. Chef Nubs has got a hat on. So you can see it's a crazy little world. I think we're at the plaza is what this is, uh, supposedly. See, we got what we got over here. Oh, that's kind of creepy. The Book of Salmonomicon. Don't know what that means. That face is pretty creepy looking. I don't like that. So <laughs> I'm not going to go into that. And so you can see you have a little map right up in the top left corner above me there to kind of navigate your, your way around. And I have never been into Central Land either, so I don't know how everything really works. So you can see in this spot right here, there's nothing here. It just looks like this little grid. And I think this is some of the real estate that you can buy. See, like right over here, there's already somebody has like this little market set up, a little fruit market or something, whatever they're, whatever they're going for. All right, so I'm going up into this to see what this Apollo mission is about, the free moon rides. Looks like, oh, I'm actually going into the moon here. That's kind of weird. So like I said, I really don't know much about the inside of the game itself and walking around and all the stuff you can do and what you can interact with. But it's interesting if you're a gamer, you check it out, see what it's about. But let's go jump into the marketplace and look at some actual prices of this virtual real estate. All right, so here we are in the actual marketplace. And you can see we can look at the lands, the wearables, and the names. Now the price right there is mana token, so you got to do the conversion from USD to mana. And remember we said the price of mana right now is around 30 cents. So that means if it's 30 cents, this 12,000 uh, mana right here would be about $400. So quite a bit of, of money for that one little square, because that's what it is. The red little square is what you're looking at to purchase. Basically, a parcel is going to be one piece, one little square, and then a states is going to be multiple squares. And you can see the red there lit up because that's what you're buying is the little red. And that one's actually a big rectangle there. And you can see uh, 1.2 million mana tokens. So do the math on how much U.S. dollars that is. And this is a very expensive piece of virtual real estate. So it looks like it's got 77 land in it. And you can see they've got these other little little par uh, perks with them right here. Like this one's adjacent to something. Uh, that one's three parcels away from the plaza. Then if you want, you can go through this way and look around at the map to kind of see. So this green place, that's a plaza. So yeah, the green is plaza. Looks like this blue virtual reality shopping. So you have one little... Uh, one little square right there in the middle of this virtual reality shopping place and you can see you can bid there you have to have an account in Decentraland to be able to do that and so you can look too there's people from all over the world that is Japanese I think there 
And you can see they're selling their little uh, parcel there for 55,000 mana. There's a lot of people in this that own a lot of different things. But this is like the entire map and you can just see how big this world is. After we went in there and just ran around for a, little, a few minutes, you can see this thing just keeps going and going and going. It is a massive scale world. We actually have a Decentraland University right there. Festival Land, Vegas City. And when you're in this mode, it's the blue dots, not the red dots. Let's see. Let's check this one out. This is Fortune Land. They're asking 4 million mana. So 4 million mana is basically $100,000. So that is, as, that is as just as expensive as real land. And you may be thinking to yourself, are, the, are people actually buying this stuff? And yeah, because I mean, you go through and you can see all these different people. You can see their names. And you can see right there, that's the largest estate in DCL. YZ is the owner, 10 million. So crazy price. You can try to buy it. You can try to bid on it. Now let's actually jump into it real quick. Let's check it out. So yeah, you can see this big plot of land here. Not much out here except over here there seems to be the something built glass house of frustrating obstacle hell. And then you got an actual uh, interesting house here that somebody created. So I mean, this is a decent looking house for in game. You can build and create whatever you want on your parcels, on your land. So essentially you could buy a piece of land in here and then build like a nice little house on this or maybe a palace or whatever your imagination will take you and maybe sell it later for a higher price. So your investment's going to be some money to buy the parcel and then some time learning how to build uh, in this world you know possibly or if this world becomes continues to become popular on a global scale then you could just buy the land and hold it and possibly sell it later in the future so there's a whole lot of different land you can look at and then when you buy some you have to have the metamask extension or a hardware wallet like the ledger nano so this is a crypto hardware wallet this is a ledger uh, you have to have one of those or one of the digital wallets to be able to actually buy. If there's multiple lands in here selling for these high of prices, then there is money to be made. And like I was saying, you could build on it and maybe sell it for more money or just hold it and sell it for more money later. But not only is it land, so you have the virtual real estate, you also have these wearables and you can create this stuff. So... You can see that little blue hat for in the world is 3,000 mana tokens, which right now would be close to a little over $1,000, I think. So if you're creative and you like to design things, it's kind of like Minecraft, but with real money. So <laughs> this is a very interesting world. And you can see they have all these different items, and these are nfts non-fungible tokens you can buy them with the mana tokens but then when you sell them you will get mana tokens and then you'll have to convert that back to usd if you know anything about crypto though it's not very hard to convert cryptocurrencies to usd or vice versa it's a very simple quick process so that's not a big deal at all and then you can see you can even sell names so you could you could come in and try to make a name that you think somebody might buy in the future like there it says crypto museum they're selling that for 80,000 mana jeremy just the name simple simple name jeremy 58,000 or pedro pascal the guy from mandalorian if he wants to play when you use his name he's gonna have to buy it from whoever this is to me the interest the most interesting part is the land with because with the land it is very similar to actual real estate investing it's just in a virtual world and some of the prices are actually very similar to real life real estate investing so it's just a new way to invest in a piece of this blockchain world because that's what you're really buying when you buy one of these assets you're buying a piece into the Decentraland world that is on the Ethereum blockchain. And you can see the people are also selling virtual art. And there are ways uh, to buy this virtual art and have it 
printed on you know an actual canvas so there's the art that is in this as well so you got the real estate you got the virtual art you got the virtual accessories and clothing and then names that you can buy and sell as well and anywhere where you can buy and sell something where you can make transaction and create value well that you there's a possibility you can make money there so some of you may be extremely skeptical about this because you can't physically touch any of this stuff but it's the same as just buying a cryptocurrency token it's all on the blockchain so if it's on the blockchain there's a ledger of it and value is created when a buyer and a seller make a transaction so if more people start coming into the central land and it starts building up more and more it could be a good investment now getting in early maybe some really cheap land like i don't think i would go and spend uh you know a couple thousand bucks on a piece of real estate in this place but maybe a small investment of like fifty dollars or something on a little piece of real estate and just hold it for a year and then see if i could sell it for a higher price later so my final thoughts on decentraland is it's a very interesting idea that they have started and it is decentralized so the, there's no government or corporation or anything that has control of the inside of this world it's pretty much a free market world it's just all virtual i'm excited to see where they take this because i do see potential for people to be able to buy some of these real estates open up virtual stores and actually sell digital products as well as physical products across the world so if you're looking for some type of abnormal way to invest this definitely could be an option so that's it for this week's episode of abnormal investing if you want to see more videos like this be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on notifications and if you enjoyed the video give me a thumbs up and if you have any ideas or suggestions for other abnormal investing video topics leave them in the comments below and i will check them out i'm your host ben you've been watching framework fortune